Hello everyone, my name's Quinn with Low Tech Gaming. One of my viewers asked if I could do a video on Far Cry New Dawn. So today we'll be playing Far Cry New Dawn. Thanks for watching. So this Far Cry I actually haven't played a whole lot. And because of this, I don't really have a lot of good tips or tricks for you guys. So this video is going to be more of uh, my thoughts on the game and kind of do a little bit of a review video before we buy. The game really is quite beautiful and the map is really immersive and very detailed. I feel like the gunplay could have been a little tighter. Um, just definitely a few questionable moments where I definitely hit someone and I didn't get the damage that I think I should have gotten, but other than that, it's not awful, it's not the worst gunplay I've ever had by any means, it's definitely just not the best Far Cry gunplay. Stealth mechanic though, however, is very good, um, it's good old fashioned Far Cry stealth, so if you're used to playing stealthy in Far Cry, you're gonna like this one, it's very similar to previous Far Cry games. Far Cry New Dawn really has though is a lot of little things that really boost the immersion. Um, this one's a good example. Like I was trying to hide these bodies and I didn't even know that if you hide bodies in the water, these fish will actually come up and start eating them. So I thought that was really cool. really like to see little things like that that really boost the immersion factor. You can get companions. I've been enjoying running with Timber. Um, he's pretty cool and he also talks to other dogs. You can fish, um, you can watch foolers drive around in circles, you can watch pigs run into barrels and blow up. And the snakes chase you now, which literally scared the shit out of me the first time ah! it happened. Personally, I was a little sad to see that they got rid of the weapon crafting and... Uh, sorry, oh, sorry, not weapon crafting. The weapon customization and the bag crafting and wallet crafting and stuff like that. I kind of liked searching for the animals and skinning them and crafting new uh, weapon holsters and loot bags and what have you. That was kind of cool, so a little sad to see that go away, but it was kind of neat to see that they added vehicle customization. In this Far Cry, you can actually do a thing with the outposts where you can scavenge it and then you can take it back again at a harder rate. There's not as much of a perk system in, in this game. There's more of a, what you do is you collect ethanol and you can upgrade your I guess outpost with the ethanol and so that's how you get more health and more weapons to craft. All stuff like that is uh, through kind of collecting ethanol and you get the ethanol from collecting trucks like I did here and liberating outposts. Or you can find these like little care package things out in the woods that look like this and you collect them just by holding E and then once it's collected you'll see that you've got some ethanol. Amongst other things too. If I had to give one tip on the game though, it's probably uh, Upgrade your perk to lock picking right away because anytime you find a safe out in the wild, you'll be able to pick it. And I've noticed you get a lot of titanium from the safe, so if you're able to pick them, you're going to be well stocked. And titanium is going to be essential for crafting uh, second tier weapons. Ultimately, though, this is a very solid game. Far Cry New Dawn was pleasantly surprising. I enjoyed playing it very much, and if the story was a little bit better, if they had weapon customization and crafting still, I would even go as far as saying that this would probably be my favorite Far Cry. Which is saying a lot, considering how much I liked Far Cry 3. If you're a fan of the Far Cry series, I highly recommend picking this one up. There's a lot of good action, some good puzzles to figure out, and a lot of good funny moments that actually genuinely made me laugh. No, 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 no. Oh my god! Thanks for watching everyone, and thank you Anthopar91 for recommending this video. That's about it. See ya. I, I didn't do that.